What's going on, world? This is Robert Richard. You're watching That Great Juice. It's the holidays. Tune to the platform and make sure you watch Harlem only on Amazon Prime. Binge watch it. Chad Kincaid, and today's guest is an actor and producer who's been on our screen since the 90s with memorable roles such as Bobby Walker and Arnaz Ballard in the hit television shows Cousin Skeeter and One on One. Now he's a part of Amazon Originals Harlem. Please help me in welcoming the guy who seems to have the secret to eternal youth, Mr. Robert Rashad. How are you today? What is going on? That great juice. Uh, thank you guys you. have the best, the best stories, the best friends. Shout out to you guys. Um, it's the holidays, but make sure you get on the couch. Binge watch Harlem. The music's great. All the characters are fantastic. It takes place in New York City, um, which we all love worldwide. Um, I, I love your guys' um, uh, platform. It's amazing. Well, thank you for that. And I can already attest to that because Harlem is actually an amazing show. Um, but also, I want to just jump right into it. Harlem, you play single father, Sean. Um, what was it about the show that pulled you in? And what was it about Sean that made you want to play this role? Yeah, I think that Sean being a dad was important. I think that it's important to see that on, on, on television um, and for someone to be, you know, navigating how to like sort of like, you know, still find love right. in this sort of like, you know, modern family world that we live in and not hiding your kid because you're, you know, that's, that's the most important thing in the world to you. Right. And then, you know, the fact that Sean's so fearless, you know, a lot of times, Everyone can be a little bit of resistant to falling in love. We live in the 21st century. It's swipe life. It's rough out here, bro. Like ADD, like a mug. Everybody got a thousand options. They're getting it from every platform, right? And so to have sort of this guy being like, I want you and I'm cooking for you. I'm showing up for you. I'm mm -hmm. trying to meet your friends. I'm showing up to, you know, your company parties. Right. And I'm going to, you know, put you on the spot when you talk out of line. The, you shouldn't treat anybody like that, especially like me. And, you know, he's, 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 he's two feet in. He's fearless. Right. Absolutely. And speaking of too many options, it's a reason why so many people today say monogamy is dead. But that's another discussion for another day. Um, but I have to bring this up. So watching the show, going into the show, I knew that you were in it, obviously, as well as Megan Good. But not until you're seen, I was like, damn it, Cousin Skeeter. And then they, they wrote the line in, and I just thought that was so amazing. So what was it like being a part of the same show with Megan once again? I think that the fans got a huge payoff. I mean, people know that. For, I mean, we're sort of iconically related together forever now. Or right. Cemented in, in you know, uh, boyfriend-girlfriend history on television. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm glad that uh, Megan was so clever to – Sort of like, you know, have that line and then push it one needle right. further. Just being like, he had an annoying cousin Skeeter. I think that was a great payoff. Um, right. But, you know, now it's like we're on the show together. Originally, we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend on this show. And then mm. uh, one of the producers, Scott, was like, all right, we're going to move Rob around to a different character to be with Quinn's character. Right. And I've fallen in love with Grace. Um, she's amazing. But just, you know, to be back with Megan, uh, seeing how much we've been at this, like 30 years together. Mm -hmm. And we were on the red carpet together. And then she whispered in my ear, she goes, we have so many more years ahead of us. Right. But the fact that we've been doing this for so young, but we're still like young and, right. you know, Megan looks great. Mm -hmm. now, I keep my fitness at, you know, a high priority in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have just, just, you know, years and years ahead of us. Right. So it's, it's exciting for the next, the next few chapters. Absolutely. But speaking of another co-star on your Instagram, <laughs> you tease Kyler Pratt plus Robert Rashad equals another coming series. Was that actually true or are you just teasing us? You know, I'm just teasing everybody. Uh, uh, I mean, everyone's been talking about a one-on-one -on -one reboot. Uh, I know that um, uh, the, the people of the power who ran the show before and Flex, who's a producer on the show, has reached out and talked about it. Um, but, you know, right now, my focus is the number one show on television right now. And that's that's Harlem. And right. I think it's giving everyone what they want. I think that everyone's represented in the show. Um, and you're seeing it from, you know, from the boardroom all the right. way down to the strip club. Like the characters are living real lives and there's no holds barred. 
and it's all on it's happening on camera so that's what i think is the best thing about this show just about the the, the transparency and the and how real and honest the show is right but you've been active for almost three decades now out of all your projects is there one that is most memorable to you or maybe one or two um i think that the biggest like blessing that i have is that everyone feels comfortable to come up to me um like if i'm in an airport if i'm in a grocery store if i'm in a mall Right. everyone comes up to me and just has like dope regular conversations. Mm -hmm. I think that's like the best thing that like, you know, the characters that I've played and then whether it be the interviews or like what people get from me or just my relatability, everyone's like, I can come up to you and talk to you. Like, I feel like I've grown up with you in my living room. That's probably the biggest, biggest payoff. And I think that, you know, sort of all the roles that I've played from the drama stuff to the character stuff to now I'm playing like heartthrob stuff, which seemed kind of far-fetched to me growing up. But now, you know, they're like, Rob, take your shirt off. <laughs> like, yeah. Rob, get up on stage. Right. Rob, take your pants off. I'm like, yo, <laughs> this is going, you know, but but this is part, you know, this is like me being an athlete in this sort of like acting sport. And it's just so much fun. And right. we're not done. Right. Well, I'm glad to know that now, because actually, I think it was the day of the Harlem premiere here in NYC. You actually jogged right by me in Midtown. And had I known that, I would have been like, hey, but, you know, another time. But I'm I'm always out with, like, the people because I like to right. see, like, what people really talk about and be able to take that stuff and, like, honestly and genuinely put it into my characters. I love New York. And when we were shooting Harlem, I would run to work right. four, five, eight miles to work every single day. I want to be out like seeing what people are talking about, what it's like being on New York streets. It's the number one backdrop in the world. And I think there's not no better timing for this sort of like 21st century show for all of us millennials mm -hmm. trying to make our family proud, make money, trying to figure out how to flip Bitcoin, everything that we do. And then even for Gen Z coming up, watching us being like, yo, you guys are laying the blueprint for how we're going to figure out how to get through college, how to keep our friends, fall in love, get a career. And all that show is, is Harlem. It's right. great. And it's binge worthy. The cliffhangers are incredible in the show. Love it. Absolutely. And then earlier I mentioned your youthful looks. Can you tell us about your brand EPM? Oh yeah. Elite performance medicine. Listen, mm -hmm. I didn't formulate it. Uh, I got behind actually a female founder um, mm -hmm. So, you know, the 21st century, really, I just think that a lot of women have stepped forward and said, hey, like, we have so much to say, and we're very, very creative. And I think that the entire world is embracing that. And I love that. But uh, with Elite Performance Medicine, like people know, I care about everybody. I care about your health. And at our business, we transform suffering for all. And we do that without compromise. So there's no, there's no uh, inactive ingredients, no perfumes, no uh athletes no preservatives in any of the formulas it's just like pure 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 formulas and it's better science better medicine and that's epm you guys can go to the website it's uh, epmproducts.com epmproductx.com awesome but before i let you go what's in store for you in the future you mentioned some things but what's in store what's coming up what's next for you uh yeah no i think that the last few four projects that i've worked on they've all been crazy different characters i've played military I played a gangbanger, and this show I play like a bartender stripper who's falling in love. I think all of my characters, I'm always pushing it to keep the spectrum wide, mm -hmm. um, but I just have a lot, a lot, a lot that I want to do for, for the audiences at home. I love entertaining people, and I have everybody sit back with their popcorn, their best friends, and then watch me on television. Uh, it's a dream come true, honestly. All right. Well, Robert Richard, thank you so much. Congratulations on everything. Congratulations on Harlem. And I wish you so much more success. Yeah. So to you, happy holiday from That Grape Juice.